Hi friends, welcome to my 3D Thursday video. Today we are making a simple sleeve to hold a snap bar. Don't worry about writing down measurements during the video. I have that listed on my blog, so let's get started. Right. For this project, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that's about two and a half inches by 12 inches and about 12 inches of ribbon. So the first thing I'm doing is I am coloring my ribbon. I'm using the ribbon from the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. And I'm running it along a Knight of Navy ink pad just to recolor the ribbon. Um, you'll notice on that first pass it didn't get very dark. So I went, I dragged it through the ink three times just to get a little bit darker color. Um, I chose Knight of Navy because it matched the designer series paper that I was using. And today's paper I used the um, In Good Taste designer series paper. Once you have your ribbon colored, just set it aside to dry. Your paper you'll fold it at about four and a quarter inches, and then um, you'll want to grab your envelope punch board. With paper folded, punch with the bottom at three inches, and then flip it over and punch again at the three inch mark. Then you'll want to use the other side of the punch to round the corners and do this on all four sides. This just creates a nice smooth look to the project. Once everything is punched, you'll want to take a snap bar um, and insert it into the paper um, with the bottom going into the fold and then you'll take your ribbon that you colored and dried and tie that around the neck that you punched with the punch board. You can tie it just in a, a knot um, or if you want you can tie a bow. Uh, for today's project I'm just going to do a bow. Uh, you can also add in some extra embellishments or a for you gift tag. Or, or something else to go on to this but my designer series paper was pretty embellished already so I thought just the bow would look nice and anything else might detract from the project so this ribbon uh, takes a little bit more maneuvering to get the bow the, um, the way I wanted it and so it took me a minute and my ink wasn't completely dry so I got a little inky once your bow is tied the way you want it uh, to be tied, just trim off your ends so that the not colored bits are not on the bow. And there's your project. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed the project. For more ideas, you can follow me on my blog or you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Bye!